This video is going to give you the quickest and easiest way to improve your SEO. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using ChatGPT to add schema to our blog posts. So how is this going to work? First of all, you want to just go on Google and type in on Google FAQ schema Google or something like that and grab this. This code or whatever will be in the description in some format. Um, I don't know how yet. And then what I'm going to say is uh, this is the format for schema FAQs for Google. Do you understand? And then I'm going to say like this and it should just say, yes, I understand. Yes, I understand the code you provided is an example of websites frequently asked questions, FAQ section using schema.org, structured markup, blah, 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 blah. This helps it, uh, blah, blah, blah. In this example, the FAQ type being used and there are several questions, each with an accepted answer. Each question and answer has a specific type, such as question and answer along with the name, etc., etc. So what we're going to say now is can you do an FAQ section for a blog post if I sent you the blog post? And hopefully ChatGPT will just say yes. Yes, I can help you create an FAQ for a blog post. Send me the content or the main topics of your blog post and I will generate relevant questions and answers. Okay. So please generate an FAQ following the schema format I gave you before from this article. So I just copied and pasted the content directly into ChatGPT and we'll see if this actually works. So you might think, first of all, what the hell is it doing? Why is it not giving me actual schema? And there is a reason for that. And it's also the reason I much, much prefer to use the playground for this. However, I'm going to press stop generating. I'm going to press copy here and I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to assume that it's just because of the weird formatting on ChatGPT and not because ChatGPT is complete trash. Okay, it turns out ChatGPT is complete trash. So what I want to do instead is I want to use the playground. So if you go on platform.openai.com slash playground, I'm going to use GPT 3.5 specifically for this. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's what the majority of people have access to. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to say this here is some HTML for schema um, FAQ can. And then I'm going to say, here is my article. Here is my article. I want FAQs made. I'm going to say, make me HTML FAQs using the schema from the prompt schema format from the prompt. And then we're going to press submit and it's going to say that, oh, okay, we have a problem because it's too long. So let's just get rid of a little bit of content like this and press submit again. It's still too long. I'm going to just change this GPT-4 quickly because it's too long. And we'll see if this works. Okay, so this is actually going to work, thank God, because I was getting pretty annoyed, to be honest with you. Uh, and yeah, you can see this is how it's supposed to work. So what I can maybe do here is say, can you generate using HTML instead of um, uh, markup? And then this should hopefully, yeah, it does. Okay, this works as well. So you can do either or. And we're going to check whether this works, et cetera, whether, which one is doing it correctly. Like for example, for some reason, this has put viewport, which I just didn't need at all. I also don't need H1 at all because I already have H1, but we can edit this. So it's not really the, the end of the world. What you want to do is you want to basically go to verify schema on Google and click on schema markup validator. And then you want to click on code snippet or whatever the hell it says in English. Obviously mine's in Italian as usual. And then I'm guessing that this is actually not correctly formatted, but we, we will see in a moment how that one does. This on the other hand, I can tell already that it is correctly formatted. So if I put it here, 
Um, it will need to finish. It will need to close the tag. So we, we oh, looks like it's closing. No. So we'll wait a moment. Okay, so this is now finished. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and put this into here. And I'm going to put uh, do test, whatever the hell it says. It says zero errors, zero advice. Okay, so this has worked properly. If I now go on our Shopify. Okay, so if you go on your blog posts on your Shopify store, and we're going to, I do actually have uh, a blog post that's about this. So if I type off the rack here, it should come up somewhere top off the rack suit brands so right at the very bottom of this article what you can do is you can control v and then i'm going to press save obviously i will have to delete this afterwards because it's about eye suit and not about two men and if i scroll down you shouldn't be able to see anything here which you cannot however if i take this into search console and I inspect it and then I don't know if I can test the URL like this actually because it's already indexed. Okay, apparently I can. So if you click test URL or te uh, test published URL, it should say in English. I'm sorry, I forgot to change everything to English instead of Italian. And then we'll let this load very quickly. As you can see here, actually, it says usability mobile, HTTPS, breadcrumb, and something else. But none of these say FAQ. Because at the moment, as you can see on the actual HTML, apart from the FAQ I just added, there is no FAQ schema currently on the page. Okay, so what does this actually look like? How does this help, etc., etc.? So you can see here, if you type in Google how to water a cactus, these are FAQ schema, which people can click. And this will generally do one of two things. Number one, they will get the information from you instead of a competitor. And number two, it increases click-through rate and just increases your ability to rank as well which is what SEO is all about. So what this does is it puts these questions on to the SERP, the search engine result page. And you can see that hardly any websites actually do this because it does take a little bit of playing with things to get it sorted. This is now done. Apparently there are no FAQs on the web page. So what we'll do is we'll take this back to this tool here instead of using search console and we'll try and do it like this and we'll say do the test so you can see at the bottom of here it says faq page okay which i think might be an issue basically you need it to create an faq section on a page and not like an actual faq page however this works as you can see this is hidden from the front end, but helps you increase your ranking in the back end. So what we want to do is we just want to change the uh, prompt a tiny little bit and say, make me HTML FAQ, make me a HTML FAQ section using the schema format from the prompt. Okay. And if we reduce this and press submit again, Okay, so it, it's created an FAQ page again. So I guess that's what you're supposed to be building here. Okay, so I've just checked one of my other ones that actually has the schema and has for a long time now, this beach wedding, uh, how to dress for a beach wedding. And the FAQ is called FAQ page. So this is all correct and all fine. This is incredibly powerful. It's incredibly easy and everything that you need will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.